know about that, baby? I'm pumped up. I'm sorry about coming here so late. You know, I had a my boy over and shit, and we're watching a draft and yada yada. You know, and he, he's a Giants fan, so of course they picked later because of the trade. I'll tell you what, man. Oh my! I gave Howie, excuse me, a lot of hell, and I have for a while now. I, you know, I bashed him and I said he did this wrong and that wrong. And listen, I still loved Jamar Chase and Kyle Pitts. I still like them better than Devontae Smith, honestly. But he knew something that we did not know. So I guess I have to give credit where credit is due, I guess, Howie. You knew all along. When the reports came out and they said, hey, listen, the reason the Eagles traded the sixth pick to move to 12 was because they knew Jamar Chase was going to go to the Bengals to, you know, go back with his former teammate, Joe Burrow, who's a former quarterback in LSU. And I said, all right, whatever. And I was like, well, there's going to be other guys there at six, you know, J.C. Horn, this and that. So as the draft goes on, I seen J.C. Horn goes to the Panthers and then, uh, what's it, uh, uh, whatever, sudden this and blah, 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 goes to the Broncos. And I'm like, all right, man. Now, Dallas is on the clock. And I know Dallas, they needed a corner. And I said, all right. Well, the corners, the top ones ain't there. You can get them maybe tomorrow. You know, Sonny Sammy Jr. or whoever else. And But I was pissed. For, I said, man, we've got to get back in this thing and try to get Devontae Smith from the Giants because they, they were definitely going to take him. Or I wanted, you know, you know, there was other guys I wanted too. I was really hyped up on. Smith was a guy where I said, you know, we get it. We still get a top five player in this draft or top ten type of guy. And I said, man, the Giants are going to take him. We're going to be sitting there 12 and probably take a guy like Christian Barmore, which I ain't bashing. I ain't bashing. But, hey, look, you know, or Quinny Pay was going to be the guy, you know, some dumb shit like that. No. I said, we got we to trade right now with the Broncos. And if you saw, the Broncos started running the clock down. They were running down, running down, kind of. And I said, man, hopefully they're on. And my boy was with me. He's like, yo, they're on the phone with someone. They have to be. And I think they were on the phone with a few people about trades or this and that, this and that. And then I said, you know what? They're probably going to go quarterback. Or Now I end up taking, you know, a corner. So then now Dallas is on the clock. And I said, oh, great. They're going to do what they did the other, the other year. They're going to. You know, take someone because they know we're going to take them or they know that Dallas, or the Giants are going to take them. Nope. Somehow we did an in-division trade. <laughs> I said, what the hell? We traded up with Dallas? Which I don't care. All we gave up was a third-round pick. We already have, what, two or three this year anyway, so we still have one if, if there was two. Or three if, you, if it was three, we still have two. So what I'm saying is we gave it up. Moved to two spots. And we took Devontae damn Smith. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Howie, I guess, knew all along. He knew, okay, Kyle Pitts is going to go. You know, these scouts talk, these, GM talk, these GMs talk. All right, he's going here, Kyle Pitts. You know, Jamar Chase ain't going to be there when we get there. You know, type, type deal. Uh, and that's what happened. And you know what? We ended up getting Devontae Smith. Heisman just won the damn Heisman. You know him. First wide receiver to win it since, what, the damn 70s or 80s, whatever the hell it was. We get him. And also, get an extra first round pick for next year. So we moved out of the sixth overall pick down to 12, only moved six spots. Gain a first round pick for next year, plus a whatever, a fourth and something else, whatever, whatever, whatever. But still, okay, trade up two spots, give up a third, still got one well, left, two left, whatever. And still get Devontae Smith. Now, it's so crazy to me, though. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm like, wow, this whole thing worked out. He knew something. We didn't. We all were bashing him and trashing him. And I've been. And I still will. I'm not sure this thing's going to work out. We'll see. You know, we're still worried about, you know, Devontae Smith's size and this and that. We'll see if it works out, okay? Come this fall. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, man. I'm just pumped up. I'm really, I mean, I was like so excited. And it was, and I, I know how we, I know how he knows this fan base and how crazy we are. And I swear he did some, some, some stuff purposely. If you've seen it, they ran the clock down to like 15 seconds. 
And I'm like, are you going to fucking pick? Because I know, I know how stupid they are. And I'm like, are you going to pick or no? I'm like, are you going to just waste the pick? Like uh, Minnesota did it years prior. That thing, if it's still legal, do that. When you run down, oh, you missed the pick. They're showing them in the green room. He's on the phone, on his cell phone, not the, you know, the phone with the drift thing. Then he has his hands in his pockets, and he's just got a tab in his feet, and he's walking. I'm like, what the fuck? Who are we taking? Are we taking Slater? Then I thought, wow, are we trading over Justin freaking Fields? Take another quarterback? No, Devontae Smith. And it proves Dallas did it because they knew the Giants were going to get him, is what my guess is. Plus, they got a throwing pick out of it, and they didn't even want Smith anyway. They already had wide receivers. But, yeah. I like it. I do. And you could tell the Giants won them because the Giants, when they went down, they, yeah, they got, they, they I, I'll give Giants the credit on that. They got a first round pick out of the Bears to get Justin Fields, blah, blah, blah. But they ended up taking a wide receiver anyway. So they did want Devontae Smith. If he was there, no matter the trade, I'm thinking, no matter the trade, the Bears would have gave him. They would have taken Devontae Smith. But all I got to say is this. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. And it was so funny. I thought about it when it came. I said, we got to trade with the Bear. We got to trade with the Broncos right now. Right now. Because if not, we can trade with anyone. Then I thought to myself, how funny would be if the Eagles somehow traded with Dallas? Because I remember last year in the draft, we traded with Dallas in the later rounds. Like, like what was it? Third, fourth, fifth round, whatever. I remember being at work or something. This was right after we did the Jalen Hurts pick and everyone was surprised. And then my boys texted me. He's Giants. He's like, yo, y'all just trade with Dallas. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, okay, maybe we can do something. And it worked out. I'm pumped, man. Howie, you did a good job. You did for this. You got ended up getting a first-round freaking pick for next year and still ended up landing one of the best receivers in this draft, if not the second best or third best in this draft. I'm on to next tomorrow night. I'm looking at other guys. Like I said, Sandy Samuel Jr., you know, uh, Notre Dame linebacker, Jagas, Nat, I'm ready, Jeremiah. I'm ready for all these guys. Let's go birds, fly, fly them out. Let's celebrate tonight. Let's hope it all works out on the field and see how it goes down. I'm ready, man. This is awesome. This, this works out tremendously. And we killed this guy, Howie. We said, he's going to make the wrong pick and everything. It's good so far. We got to see the product on the field. Go birds, I'm out. Enjoy the night, y'all. Peace.